Hello everyone, welcome back to The Bench. This is sadly the final video for the Trumpeter 135th Grad 21 Multiple Rocket Launcher. Yes, I finally got this one over the finish line. Hello everyone. Now, what have I done? Well, I've, I've kind of, oddly enough, built this one out of the box, really. I've used some different weathering products. I've used some wilder products, which I thoroughly enjoyed. And I also used so, used the same ones on um, the Landy that I've just finished. How can I say? Yeah, it's it's finished. I'm, I'm happy with it. It's looking a bit dirty and a bit dusty. It's got some new doors on, or what looked like new doors, because something happened to the original doors and they've taken the doors off another vehicle that, for whatever reason, is not working, so they've cannibalised one to make another one work. There are a couple of parts on here that are still looking rather new, and that's these parts, this light, and the two rear view mirrors. The mirrors I'm probably not going to touch again ever because they are so delicate and so fine that you probably only got to breathe on them and they'll fall apart. They really are very, very delicate. Even when I picked this up to, to put it on the bench again so that I could do this video, I only barely touched this assembly for the for the mirror and it was it fell off. So <clears throat> if you do one of these don't move it around too much once you've finished it because these these mirrors <laughs> they're not going to stay where they are for very long so yeah once positioned leave well alone i've also tried out a little bit of a i don't know if it's going to come out on the video but here i shall do some still shots so that you can have a look but i've done some slightly different rusting with some of the oil brushes rather than what i would normally do and work with pigment so i've worked that in a little bit differently standard scratches and chips and dinks and stuff the rear end i'll do this way there were a couple of photo etch bumpers that were attached where they've gone your guess is as good as mine. I, I think the carpet muncher had a bit of a snack. There was a photo etch part to go in here, which I I haven't put in because I I, I didn't think it really added anything to it, and I kind of like the 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 openness because that sort of thing might have just fallen out anyway. I yeah, what was the build like? The build was shall we say taxing because of the amount of parts that we used to make sub assemblies to the sub-assemblies, if you follow my meaning. As in, with, say, something like this arm here, you've got the actual arm itself, but this part is made up of two or three parts. This part here is made up of a further two or three parts. And we've then got a further two or three parts to go here for this adjustment wheel. When possibly the whole lot or could have been manufactured in two parts however it was a bit of a challenge and there was some other multiple parts that went on this the only shame of it is is i never worked out how i could get the bonnet to be open because underneath this bonnet is a lovely detailed engine which is such a shame that it is hidden away there were some photo etch parts to go on 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 the surround of the grill at the front and and i looked at them and i thought hmm, how many of those are actually going to make it on here and how many are going to go somewhere and you're never going to find them again so i kind of decided that nah they're not going on because the chances of me getting them all on is slim if not remote i need to do a little bit of work here i'm going to drill that out and do a little bit more weathering because it should have one of those on top where it's gone i'll have to have a chat with the carpet muncher and see if i can get it back but i think it's a little bit too long now it's got a lovely interior for the cab i did try to have the door open but the, the only way I could get it to stick on really was where it is now. But if you get up close and personal and look through 
the windows, you can see that it is a highly detailed cab and it's a shame I didn't try harder to get these doors to be a bit further open because then you could actually have a look inside. So yeah, note to self, try harder with open doors. Would I build another one? Yeah, I think I would actually. Would I do it in the same way? Probably not. I don't quite know what I would do, but I would definitely have the doors open or do it in such a way and in, with such a weathering that the doors have been ripped off because it's so hot out where, wherever it is. So I think, in all honesty, I think I've, I've done everything that I can on here. I've enjoyed the build, very much so. I am glad that it's now off of the bench because this and the Land Rover were becoming, dare I say, royal bench queens because they just didn't seem to want to move off the bench. And I really sort of pulled my finger out and thought, right, this is it. The, this is going to get done now. And yeah, all right. I've, got that little bit to do there which is not a big issue it doesn't really affect it overall overall yeah I'm happy that it's finished I'm happy with the result could I build another trumpet ticket knowing that it's there's multiple parts in it to make up sub assemblies yeah it's the challenge of doing it you know you've got to push yourself sometimes you just got to push it and and see if you can get through a difficult kit. So I think on that note I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Please do. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell for the notifications so you get updates as to when I update with more videos. Also please stay safe, stay well and I will catch you in the next one. Hello everyone. Please feel free to pause as the slideshow advances so you can have a better look at the, at the photos. Once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.